Hi guys, Silent here. So for this week, I am going to be talking about school experiences. Sitting. So I'm really tired. It's at the middle of the day, and I make it really tired in the middle of the day. There's the sun, and it just makes me sleepy. I want to go to sleep. I uh, know I need something. Hope that thought. Whew. Okay. Sorry about that. Now I'm even more tired. <sighs> okay. Yeah, as I said, we're going to talk about like school experience and experiences and my my school experience. Because today was the last day of the school year. So even though I finished quite a while ago, I've technically completely finished now. The only thing I've got now is whatever. The only thing I've got now is results day. That's not for another month. So, yeah. Yeah, I just came back from the um, end of year assembly. And that's what I went to get. I got this. It's my Lifetime Achievement Award for the shows we do at my school. Because I've been doing it since, like, helping out since year seven. And it's just, it's been amazing. I'm really thankful to get that award and what my drama teacher said about me. And she mentioned Nash Youth Theatre. Her, wor her words were, in the drama world, that's like going to play for England. And that made me smile. So, <sighs> yes, now I'm out of breath and running down the stairs. <sighs> okay, on with today's video. So, basically, school sucks. But as they say, it does. Everyone knows school sucks. But it is, like, it's made up. <clears throat> makes up seven years of your best life because you've got five at school and then probably two at college because yes school sucks, the lessons suck that thing sucks I'm going to talk you through some of the years because right, in year seven that sucks because you're the newbies and you don't quite know what's going on and then everyone just like pushes you and uh, it's horrible then year nine it's options Got to decide what options, and you start doing GCSE, and you're like, ah, oh, this is scary. At 10 and 11, you are doing your GCSEs. It's really stressful, lots of pressure, and this is not fun at all. But, but, there is a good year. Year 8. I have figured this out. It is the best year in school. Because you do not have anything to worry about. You're not the newbies anymore, so you know your way around. But you're not quite onto that stage where you're starting to think about your future. Which is, it, it's awesome, because you get to do nothing. You can basically, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can basically just mess around the whole year. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy being with your friends. That's the one of the biggest things for school. You're finding your friends, your lifelong friends, and making connections, like, try Sorry, that's a thought. For example, drama connections, or like maybe science connections, art connections, dance, anything at all. And also, you you grow. <laughs> like from like when I was baby year seven, I put a picture of me when I was in seven about now. And then you got this right now. It's five years. That's happened. That's just... It's just amazing what you can achieve in that time. I don't know where I'm going with this. But school is it's a difficult time. Like, you've got pressures of all that sort of stuff like exams, SATs, CATs, not SATs, that's the other one. CATs. And it's just stupid. All that sort of things. And you also got pressures of like making friends and like being with your friends and keeping your friends, because especially in my school and especially you two with me, we had a lot of drama going going about with like friendship groups, and I mean I have lost quite well not quite a few friends. I have lost some friends over my five years. I've had loads. I mentioned this before. I've had loads and loads of different friendship groups. Just how it's happened. But yeah, I have lost some friends, some best friends, but. It's just kind of what happens. You have to go with it. And you always find people that want to be your friend, that like you, even though they're not like someone like this, have a giant weirdo. 
Um, but you do meet your absolute like best friends at like secondary school and possibly primary school, but you kind of grow apart. You make them the same one. Yeah. So I'm just gonna run through some of my best friends I've met at Crispin. Well, also you got I got my best friends Becky and Lauren who have been in my video before. They're just they're amazing. They're my best friends ever. Um, then I got my friend James, which I mentioned before, uh, and my best friend, well, my best friend's Harry, who's not actually in my year, he's in, well, he's, is he in year 10 now? Can you say year 10? No? I think he's still in year 9, technically. So yeah, he's one of my best friends, I met him through, from my, from my friend James, actually, and I'm so glad I did. Uh, got one of my friend's best friend, Eloise, no, since primary school. And we got close in year 11, so with Maddie and Lauren B, different Lauren, we've gotten really close. Um, where are we? My, one of my best friends, Ben, I bet I've been friends with since year seven, and we've had we've had rough patches and stuff, but he is still one of my best friends. He's awesome. Uh, Beth, which you saw in my prom vlog, that one. Yes, she's. She's just amazing. Uh, and Caitlin, you also saw. Caitlin as well. And yeah, so you make like best friends. And then you also make like really good friends. Like who maybe not maybe are in your year group or just like not as close. Like you don't hang out with them, but they're really good friends. Like I've got I've got I've got the, the three girls, I've got Beth, Abby and Hannah. I I love those pieces, they're just amazing. And they're in the year below, and they're just awesome. And I love spending time with them. It's really sad that I'm gonna have to leave them behind. Oh, my friend Fia, who I met during the GCSE performance. She's amazing. She's a really good actress, really good singer, really good, <coughs> really good everything. Um, Lucy, who wasn't in, ooh, wasn't it? Hasn't been in any of my videos, but she's in my year, and she's. She's awesome. She's crazy, which suits me fine because we match. Charlotte as well, who was also in one of my things. I need to really stop talking about my friends. And Josh in the year below, who I bonded with, and I think is a really good guy. He's going to be going to go on to be a good actor, I can tell. So yeah, you got you kind of got good things, got friends and bad things. And again, you got you go through like stages of like relationships and stuff in school, and. You will get bad things. Like I, I have my definitely more than my first year heartbreaks and stuff. Let's not go into that. Um, but it can be good because some people have been together since they're in school and they're still together now. That's that's awesome. It's good. Just, you have to keep going with it. You just need to try out that sort of thing. It's like I said before. It's all part of the experience of being at school. Yeah. 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 Um, personally, for me, I've like grown in confidence. Like, year eight and year nine me, not good. I no. I was like Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do this. Talk to you guys. Um Yeah, and I owe most of my confidence to my, to my, it's not mine, to the performing arts department at my school. They're just absolutely amazing. They've been, they've been so good to me. Every single one of them, the four of them, the two music and the two drama, they, I cannot thank them enough. They've helped me out so much. They've, since entering drama in year 10 and to now, my confidence has gone up so much. And my like, experience with like the theatre, and I I could not have got into Nash Youth ah could not have got into Nash Youth Theatre without their help and their guidance and just they're amazing and I am gonna miss them <coughs> I am gonna miss them quite a lot but I will be back I'm not just gonna leave I will I'll come back and help because they've done so much for me. So, that's what the main thing is, like, see if you love something, or you think you're good at something, just 
put all your effort into that. Like, if it's drama, go to go in, go into the plays, do everything. If it's like singing, go into choir, do all those sort of things, orchestra, or like dance, or things like if it's like science, do like science stuff, extracurricular stuff. Put all your effort into something that you love to do, and you'll get a massive reward at the end of it. Because, like I said, it's all about connections, and uh, it will help you out so much in later life. So, the aim, the aim, the saying no motto, point, I know. point of this is, um, enjoy school, not necessarily the lessons, but the people. Because I hated most of my lessons, drama, music, art. Yeah, they were good. Yeah, it was no. Just enjoy the people. Enjoy the people while you can. Because, like, it's amazing how different you'll feel. See, I've been, up, I've been off for like a month. So it'll be, it's already really weird going back to school, and I just feel. I don't know, it's different. It's weird. Just, yes, enjoy the people. Like, spend as much time with anyone that means a lot to you as you can. Just have some fun if that's possible at school. So, yeah, that's about it, I think. My question for this week is, um, what has school done for you? What's, like, the biggest... What's, like, the biggest impact that's happened to you for school? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm still really tired. I'm sorry, guys. Not me. I'm gonna keep barking again. Probably too late drunk up. Of Pepsi. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. From Monday, so it's currently Tuesday here. Yeah? Purple Tuesday, kind of, kind of purple. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you're watching this, you're watching it Saturday. Well, this one is going to be uploaded. And on the Monday, I'm going to be in London, which is going to be awesome. So I know I said there might be a two-week gap, but I, I think I think I'm working it. As I'm going to, there will be two videos uploaded. I'm going to film or one of them in a minute, and so th there should be videos uploaded. It should be up on the Saturday as normal, about about midday, about twelve. I'm hoping that's going to work. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, but I'm hoping it does. Uh, I keep you, I'll keep you all as updated as I can about what's going on in London, and there'll be a video for when I come back. I'm probably boring you by now. Like if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up because that's really helpful. Uh, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. So it really help me out. And if you enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure you're subscribed to know when I upload. Um, oh yeah, all my social media links will be below. Below my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. That's the one. Those three will be down below. Um, I hope you having. Hope you are going to enjoy your summer. Or, or, or mm -hmm. all those of you who are now finished. Uh, I'm going to go. Well, film the next one. I'll probably sleep. I need to sleep. And pack. So yeah. Hope you all are well. Hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. And the rest of your week. The next week. And as you see, all of you, pro next week, hopefully. So yes, yeah, see you guys, hopefully, next week. Okay, bye!